So this is um, a bit awkward. Ox. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Look, so what happened was, right, we recorded what was of this thread, right? Um, it was a bit small. It was a bit small, so we decided, you know what, we'll leave it. For a day, right? and then come back and see if now, it's filled Now, the thing out. is, whenever we weren't to go back to do it for a day, it was actually the day for our gender scan. Uh-huh. And uh, we just got busy. Yeah. Pretty much. We're kind of busy, so we didn't actually get to record anymore. And then we've just went we back went to today it tonight. We to record it. And, and the, the thread's, thread's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> the thread's gone. <laughs> so this is really fucking awkward, but I really don't want to just, like, stop the video, so I suppose... Yes, but as um a little, what's the word, to make up for a short video, um, we'll tell you the gender... Of our baby. Of our baby. Yeah. It's a boy. Hey. It's a little boy. Baby boy. Baby boy. So I'm happy. So we're both over the moon. Yeah. Well, so, so well. happy. But once again, sorry for the short video, guys, but it is a good one. So let's get into it. Player meltdowns. Had to remove a player because they poisoned their brain with TG memes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that <thing> me. <laughs> <laughs> They had a breakdown and cried tears at the table because our hacker brought a high-tech wheelchair to use when they're deep in virtual reality. We're playing Shadowrun 5th edition. He would not shut up about it. And the session had to be ended halfway through because he started yelling about critical role. <laughs> he is the only person in the group who watches it. Just to hate it, I guess. Anyone else have players like this? Is severing contact the right move or can people like this be fixed? Fixed is a strong term, I suppose. Fixed is a strong Look, um, I'm I'm not partial to this wheelchair. We we talk about we talked about it in the yesterday's video, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm not partial to it. But like honestly, a wheelchair and Shadowrun, I think that works. That's fine. I think that works in Shadowrun. I I, I see no reason why that would wouldn't be. work. No, it, 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 to me that makes complete sense because like you know. If you want, you can have it half a grain. If you want, you know... You can have it with all, like, these different tools. mechanical tools or whatever on yeah, it. Yeah, you make it like a Batman, like... Bat like a belt Swiss sort Army of fucking... Wheelchair. wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I I, I, I'm, not get, I'm not getting into this, but yeah. I, I, I do feel like Shadowrun, okay, I'll make the exception. Yeah. Not really a meltdown, but I am very close to making a player leave because he keeps on white knighting for my wife <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> okay. This dude is a no bath, no brush troglodyte. <laughs> and if he doesn't shut the fuck up, I might have a meltdown. If wife ever gets a rule messed up or forgets something, I always remind her. Hey, make sure to memorize this stuff or create a formula just to plug your stats in so you never forget. Modifiers. Sometimes, I will admit, I get a little annoyed and snap if I've explained something three times. But the moment my voice even raises a hint of aggression, this dude shows up and starts basically yelling, It's fine! It's fine! She didn't do anything! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! Bro, chill! It's fine. As if I'm over here screaming at her and being abusive. It's seriously fucking annoying. I've never gotten legit angry at my girl for anything in a literal play pretend game. And normally everything is fine. But this happens often enough, and sometimes without the context of the game, that the guy is so close to me telling him to fuck off. In before, just talk to him, lol. I mean, like, you know, (laughs) just talk to him, lol, is honestly the only only Uh, thing you really can do. Yeah, I have multiple times. He's just a white knight simp for someone else's girlfriend. I've known this guy for a while, and I know for a fact he's a jealous cuck, because he's known my wife longer than I have, and he has attempted to date her multiple times before I eventually started going out with her. Guess I just had my own meltdown, lol. I mean, uh, yeah, but the problem is... The I'm, thing is, is your wife accepting it? Because <laughs> if she's accepting it, she's a thought. <laughs> <laughs> if she breathes, she's a thought! No. Not so oh. much accept. No, it, Honestly, no she's not I, a thought, I, I feel like this is fuck all I can really say about this because I don't really know the dynamic. I don't know the group. It's not, not so like, much you know, that she's a thought, but I can, I can see the wife's face when he... When the, you, guys, the guy's like, it's fine, it's fine. And like the husband's just like shouting at her, can, looking at her husband going, mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I can't feel like I can comment on this because context is key, I suppose. Yeah. One player in my group started out with a mild panic attack mid-session and had to step out to calm down. She was gone for about half an hour before the GM decided that we should call it there and play Jackbox or some shit. And another player got mad because we hadn't played for weeks at this point. 
and wanted to keep going. When the first player came back, she also wanted to call it, and it started as an argument and turned into a full-on shouting match. She puked on camera, and a couple of weeks later, <laughs> they were fucking. <laughs> it made me realise I'm just too autistic to understand people when they can go from arguing until they hurl to having sex with a person who made you do it. <laughs> I have no words. I, I, I feel like I maybe, 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 maybe do. I have that level of autism that... Um... I don't get it either. I I, I, I really can't understand. I definitely get behind the guy being annoyed because, like, you know, if I haven't played in weeks, I really want to play. I would just play on the letter. Yeah. I'm sorry, mate. Oh, you, Drag yeah. her along as, like, a DM player character, the DM can play her. Yeah. Uh, auto attack, yeah. whatever. You know? Like, guys, all I'm saying is if you make fucking plans to play the game and you're like, yeah, no, I'm going to play, I'm going to show up, and then five minutes before the game, oh, sorry, guys, I can't make it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> When we were new, sub one year, and teens, the group erupted into a screaming match over some PvP that killed a character, and one of our members hid in the toilet due to actual (laughs) autism. We were like 16, but still. I miss those days, though I'm glad we still play. At least you still play. I'm I'm happy for you guys, you know? Sometimes... You just need to do that. And I think, like, you know... Especially, Sometimes these things happen. <laughs> yeah, look, it happens. Don't worry about it. Enjoy it well. Treasure the moment. You know? <laughs> Once I had a male player request to play as a female character, and when I denied him this, he attempted to physically assault me. Luckily, myself and every other player at the table was open carrying AR-15s, and we defended ourselves by filling him with over 300 bullets collectively. Beast. Beast. <laughs> Good shit post. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Good shit post. One of the better ones I've came across in a while. Sounds like Garbo, except he'll be actively encouraging his players to play big titty waifus. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. This happened a while ago, but it still sticks with me. We're playing a very Star Wars thematic game. We're plucky underdog rebels against the evil government taken over by the cabal of dark techno priests with weird, possibly magical powers. It's set on Earth, though, like 500 years into the future. But anyway, we're running around, rescuing scientists, spying on the bad guys, occasionally blowing up bases and stuff. Because we're scrounging whatever we can and don't have a regular supply chain, most of our equipment doesn't work quite as advertised. Either because it's damaged and we can't fix it, or because we stole it from some black ops lab and don't really know how to make it work. Or because we're trying to use something that needs more power than we can afford to run it on. Enter that guy. Always gets pissy when something doesn't work, because it interferes with these long plans he always has written up before each game, and gives copies to the rest of us that are roundly ignored. (laughs) What the fuck? Uh, That's a really weird... uh, You know, if you want, like, do a bit of plan on the Discord, like, you know, be like, like, guys, what do you guys want to do? Oh, I've got, like, you know, do you want to have a game plan going in? But I don't know if I would... (laughs) I I I think, like, (laughs) night, and be like, no, you're doing this this session. (laughs) Alright, and you're going to have to do it, alright? Stop it. One day, while ambushing a patrol, not only did his sniper rifle jam and couldn't be cleared, but his backup plasma rifle overloaded, literally jumping onto the table and started screaming incoherently. And I guess he must have bitten his cheeks or tongue or something, because after about 30 seconds of this, he starts bleeding out of his mouth. What? The GM's refusal to ban this fucker is what led me to leaving the group. What? I have no words. And why didn't you catch it on video? <laughs> oh, that's that sounds like a perfect video to yeah. me. I have no idea how people can play with, you know, unless I, I you know, the only way I think I would accept that is if it's someone that I've known for like 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. You know, someone that you've known and you for know an incredible spark. And you know that they're, uh, yeah, no, he, he just, he just, he it's just like that. This. He just does that from time to time. <laughs> No, I get the fuck out. That's yeah. really out there. Yeah, that's very. No that's um, that's troubling. Yeah, no if I be honest with you. 